my dear students welcome back to my channel this is kvs mathematics faculty for jw mains and advanced examination my dear parents and students i need your support to give one of the best videos on je mains and advanced your support matters a lot so before entering into the question so here i quoted one of the best quote i can bring in front of you krushi unte manushulu rushulu avtaru avtaru i deleted because i wish everyone has to become rishi in the respective field without late the question is je main session 1 in the last session in the morning session one question is given in the relations so before taking the question we can say here je means math best analysis and elegant the best way i am giving here elegant solutions by me i mean kvs so here the question you can see here this question is given under numerical value type questions so this is the first question so very simple question based on simple set forms simple number system in the set forms given so you are given s is equal to 1 to 20 the set s is given by 1 to 20 here so total 20 numbers are given 20 positive integers are given 1 2 3 up to so on 20 given here so relation 1 is given r1 is given r1 is given pair of elements a b where a divides b a divides b i mean if you want to go symbol wise a divides b means you can write in this way a divides b or so b is divisible by a b is divisible by a so this is r1 is given so before giving proper i am going to the second relation r2 is given second relation is given r2 on the same set is given ab almost all similar to first one but where a is a integral multiple of b a is integral multiple of b so a is nothing but some constant times of b so that means here uh, a is divisible by b here we can say a is divisible by b here see the paper sector the question sector has given wonderful uh, concept uh, by putting these two conditions so one is b is divisible by a other one is a is divisible by b here right so the question is here the number of elements in symmetry i mean difference of two sets actually two relations here n of r1 minus r2 here n of r1 minus r2 so many have taken directly number of elements in r1 many have taken number of elements in r1 minus number of elements in r2 so that is the fundamental mistake did by many students but we can't say these two are equal so n of r1 minus r2 is not equal to directly n of r1 minus n of r2 so and also if you see the solutions given by experts they have given some different methods but i think this is a one is a, this is one of the best and uh, elegant solution i am trying to give here so first i am listing all the um, if i go the number of elements of r1 relation 1 if i list means like i have to write 1 1 2 2 and so on last element is 20 comma 20 the last element here 20 comma 20 r1 and so forth the many are there here so but here the condition is second element is divisible by a or first element divides b here right but no need to list out all the elements here right so n of r1 will be first i am giving 20 here so 20 means here 1 comma 1 2 comma 2 that means so 1 i mean every number is divisible by 1 elements which are related to 1 i am giving here 1 1 i mean 1 uh, 1 and 1 1 2 2 and so on 20 here actually so these elements are multiples of 1 multiples of 1 20 are there this is the symbol i am giving here multiples of 1 and this is meant for multiples of 2 multiples of 2 uh, i mean 2 comma 2 2 comma 4 like and this is nothing but multiples of 3 six are there and this is nothing but multiples of 4 and these are nothing but multiples of 5 uh, uh, multiples of uh, multiple multiples of 5 multiples of 5 means not the 3 four are there here multiples of 5 
and multiples of 3, multiples of 6, 3 are there. Multiples of 3, so 3 are there. Multiples of 7, 2 are there. Multiples of 7 and multiples of 8, also 2 are there. Multiples of 9, also 2 are there. Multiples of 20, also multiples of 20, uh, um, I mean multiples of uh, 10, 2 are there. Multiples of 10, 2 are there. After that, everyone has only single element. That means uh, one, one, one here. So that means I can say number of elements in R1. Number of elements in R1 is equals to number of elements in R1 will be equals to I mean uh, 66 are there. 66 are there. Number of elements in R1. So here the second step is number of elements in relation to. So actually this part is not necessary here. No need to find out, uh, no need to list out elements are, no need to find out number of elements in R2 here. But I need number of elements in R1 and R2. Common elements I need, common elements R1 intersection R2 here. So to find number of elements in R1, R2, if you understand divisibility rules, so what are the divisibility rules here? If A is divisible by B and also B is divisible by A, the numbers must be only possibility. I mean to say B is multiple of A as well as A is multiple of B here. Only possibility A is equal to B here. If we know this simple fact, I can write directly number of elements in R1 intersection R2. So that means all the elements, all the pair of elements in which all the elements are equal here. So, so that 1 comma 1, 2 comma 2. So number of elements in R1 intersection R2 is 20 here. R1 intersection R2 is 20 here. So from this, I need to calculate n of R1 minus R2. Remember, my dear students, it won't be equal to directly n of R1 minus n of R2. So n of R1 minus R2 is nothing but number of elements in R1 minus number of elements in R1 intersection R2. So n of R1 will give 66 here, number of elements in R1, 66, minus number of elements in R1 intersection R2. So that is 20. So therefore, the number of uh, R1 minus R2 is 46. Okay. So here, uh, if I want to give the uh, analysis on this question, it will come under moderate. I think you can do the question in less than three minutes or about three minutes. So doable within three minutes. Thank you. Thanks for your support.